we can um try do the hard mode now. Just fix this. To close my blind. It's a bit sunny out there. Alrighty. So let's try out hard mode then. Run hard. Cleared with this composition. Ah, uh, these guys. Oh, so we can now um, we can now change them up a little bit. We can try out the sun guard. At the end of turn, gain two temporary armor for each ally. All right, so we'll switch him over to the vanguard. Do four extra damage. Each grid moved grants two temporary armor and two attack power until the until next turn. Hmm. One has more health and attack on base. We stick with the normal June Hunter there. We'll keep the switch over to the Priestess of Light. Now we've built everything that we can. That was our win. Alrighty, let's start hard mode. See how strong we can make our knight and our June Hunter this time. Golden tablet straight up. When attacking adjacent enemies, deal extra damage equal to your health times two for a minimum of 18. I'll take it just because it's golden. Team got this side. Oh, actually, he can do. Yeah. She can go there out of range. Berserk when at below 30 health, gain 7 attack power when at below 15, gain 14, grants 2 attack power, non-boss enemies you attack will have their move distance reduced by 1, deal 6 extra damage to enemies within 2 grids. Sounds good. I think the best thing that we had on our night was um counter in the last round. Um, she's probably going to take damage no matter where she goes. Put him here behind the knight. Uh, she still took it. Only a little bit of damage. That's all good. 
Non-boss enemies you attack cannot move. For each 10 health the enemy has lost you do 2 extra damage. At the start of each battle gain 5 attack power. Being attacked or clearing the stage removes this bus, uh, the buff. So I keep buffing up our priestess for the time being. See we get some good stuff for our other guys. I think we'll go over this way. Yeah. Back. They can come to us. Uh, just out of weight. Oh, no. Just within range. Move this guy back one. I said he was going to take damage there. I ain't paid any attention. Killing an enemy grants six attack power and one attack range. If there are no units adjacent, you gain three attack. Grants six of max health and one attack power. That's good for the guard. What have we got here? No range, guys. There's no point moving up. He can't. Wait, he can he attack through the rock? Yes, he can. Move her up a little bit. She's still safe. Decent damage right there. Oh, no, even better there. It's just, that's where they're going to get all three. Can this guy pierce two guys? No, can only hit one. I move him there. He can hit him. Move him here. To block, and then he can kill that one. Really want Rum to counter on the knight again. I need to get this little dude. He gives us good stuff if we can get it. kill him. I think there's one turn left of being able to kill him. Yeah. Ah, damn. Thought he might have been there for just one more turn. That doesn't matter. Not missing out on too much. We got a wooden shield that can go on to our warrior, our sun guard, our berserk. I'm not a big fan of berserk. Um, perfect aim, attacks ignore armor. Also, deal one extra damage for every three armor the enemy has. I like that. That sounds very useful. Being able to pierce just straight through the armor. That's good. Alrighty, let's focus down this guy first. We can get this one. Just out of range. Yeah. Can this one attack on her turn after she moves, or is she the same? Okay, so you can't attack a move with this one either. Both of them. Hmm. Okay. I'm gonna take damage no matter where I put him, because I want to be able to attack still. Luckily, there's not that much damage from the scorpion. I run four, that's fine. Oh, I didn't realize this guy would attack. Move him out of danger. Yeah. 
now. I don't think I can kill in this turn. So I'm gonna back her up just a smidge to keep her safe. Make that fine there. I think she can still hit ya. Alrighty, let's unlock carving. All characters healed for 4 at the start of each boss battle. Sun Warrior gains 2 armor, Dune Hunter gains 2 attack. Start of next stage, all characters are healed for 6. Going for health. Probably use that. Grants a random weapon, reduces the cost of constructing other buildings by 5. I think we're just going to grab the health and play it safe. That one's not very useful at the moment. Sunguard's fine. Deals 3 extra damage against arm armless enemies. Enemies that attack Mystic Mage take 10 damage. I'm trying not to get her attacked, so... Ideally, this would never work. We'll just, um... We'll get the weakness. Off the attack of our Ranger. There's plenty of guys that don't have armor. Can she hit him? She can't hit him. Just keep her there. more attention to this one uh, wrapping behind here. I'm going to be right back. Uh, wait, we back here. Oh, this archer might finish him. Okay, that's good. Use some more health on our ranger if we can. Heal him. Nope. Our guard for 24, that's not that useful. I think we'll just uh, grab the fine weakness again. Forward. I get more armor with it. Yeah, I should have more people near him to get um, extra armor. She's within attack range. They need to stay. Move her back here where she's safe. Um, go there. One does more damage. The cold one does more damage. She'll focus him down. A lot of scorpions on this map. She can... Mm. Fortunately she doesn't kill them. Needs a bit more attack power. Can do some good damage though. I think I'm... Yeah, we're gonna lose our ranger maybe. Very close. 
way too many scorpions here. That keeps our rangers safe. Blocks. Guys going for a ranger. Ready. That leaves this one safe. Ranger's only just survived this map. He's all good now. Our mage just needed one more attack. She could have killed a lot of these. Cover all health, that's perfect for um, Hunter right now. Any carvings that we'd like? All characters healed plus four at the start of each boss battle. I don't want this one, or this one. I'm not interested. We get plenty of weapons. That's not that valuable. Well, I mean, it costs 40. And then it reduces the cost of by five. I mean, we only have six buildings. That's not worth it. Two attack power, two armor. I got two armor on the um, Sun Warrior. And two attack power on him is good, I guess. Attacking increases your temporary armor by three. Dune Hunter's been taking more damage, but. Well, actually, she gets armor, doesn't she? Get armor? I give it to um, our ranger for protection. Alrighty. Chapter 1 boss battle Attack of the Lions. Nothing in range for her. Move him here. You can move her there and keep her safe. It's okay, only three damage. Just took so much damage. This, she's screwed no matter where she moves to, so she might as well do a little bit of damage to all of them. Um, and he's sort of stuck. Is this the boss? Yeah. That's who we need to focus down. Maybe she's not the boss? Just takes a lot of damage. Maybe both of these are the boss. I'll kill this one and see. I hope. No. Ah oh man, does that mean when we kill this one it's gonna like evolve into two things again? If so, we're screwed. I hope that once we kill this, that's it. My knight can't handle that again. No. GG. 
my knight can't survive that. Damn. Did we get anything? Can we build anything? No, we didn't unlock anything to build with. I think the Sun Warrior better. This guy has that extra range. But the Sun Warrior has 4 more armor and 8 more health and an extra attack. I do like the Priestess of Light and the June Hunter's good. Chapter 1 Hard Mode again. Nice golden one. Grants 10 max health one time per turn when armor drops to zero. Restore half your initial armor value. That's pretty good. Take it. Unfortunately, that she can't attack on the same taunt on the same turn that she moves. I'm safe there. But I do like a little area of attack. Killing an enemy grants five extra gold. Ooh. Once we get enough gold, though, I mean, you don't really need that much gold. Get a fair bit just from the battles. I had no issues with gold. There's only one enemy within attack range, gain 5 attack power, grant 6 max health and 1 attack power. Let's buff up our uh, Sun Warrior. He needs it. Down. Damage does he do? He does 4, he does 6. Can't stop it anyway. That's fine. Let's hope we do a little bit better, better in uh, this chapter than we did the last one. That's useless at the moment. Not gonna get attacked. Uh, killing an enemy restores 3 health, that's good for our Sun Warrior. Now we just need to retaliate on him. Nothing within her range. Get this guy up here to block the little choke there. Put her behind. And he can't reach either. I should have actually put her like here and then he could have got that some damage, but it doesn't matter.
continue attacking these guys and holding that area. Working out for just fine. A little bit of damage, but it's not so bad. Gonna finish him. Should have took one damage then. That's fine. What have we unlock here? A steel sword. Good for our uh, sun warrior. Draw to health, health, that's wasted. Grants to attack power. Non boss enemies you attack will have their move distance reduced, or non boss enemies you attack cannot move during the next turn. Hmm, I think I'll just grab the extra attack power. It's gonna slow down, guys, but I don't think that's really needed that much. I mean, it's not really that big of a play area to need to slow the guys down. To block. Range does this guy have? Fine. Can't hit us. Yeah. Them. I don't know, they still want to come down. In danger there. I don't think so. Let's move him back. Him getting hurt. Wait. Need to defend. She can still hit this guy. She can hit three of them. Pretty good. Some good value there. Actually, we should probably just leave this guy here. Take a hit. And she has four armor. She's probably be better off getting hit than him. Kill one of them. Could move and kill. Allowing him to come through. And just attack. Alrighty, that worked out well. Round 5 complete. Moving to grids or more, gain 4 attack power and 4 armor. Deal 3 extra damage against armors. If there are greater than 2 enemies within attack range, gain 4 attack power and 4 armor. Hmm. We'll just, uh. No, what? Charge is actually pretty good. Charge is alright. Get the scepter for our priestess. Dun, dun, dun. Just out of range. Who's gonna hit us? It's just this guy, but we could probably kill him. Yeah. Oh, we can't kill him. <laughs> I should have checked before I committed to that. That's funny. He didn't take the damage anyway. That's good. He's just got an item. Probably not concerned about that. Wait. Oh no. Then he ended. Ah, uh, pretty just stuck him there. I accidentally pressed space and got him stuck. That's fine.
Alrighty, not bad. Now we're going for health. These are both low. Carvings do we have this time? That's useless. Not good. Winning a stage heals all characters for one health. An extra recovery tablet to all future tablet rewards. A raid health gain max to armor. That good at the moment. Two extra damage for each ten health lost. I like that one. Full focus seems good. And then we need health. I guess we could just power up our Mystic Mage. Time round. Just need to make sure we protect our Ranger. I mean, I'm happy to even just uh, play it safe. Keep him there. Get her a little bit closer. She can do some damage next turn. She can kill that one guy. Damage can he do to him? I mean, he's one short. I think she's probably best killing him. Over here and sort of block. Ah, crap. Ah. Uh, that was my fault. Obviously. I didn't pay attention to the guy at the back there. Take a lot of damage on this one. Luckily, she has armor. Oh man, she's gone too. GG. Can't hold them both. That's the end of this round, pretty much. I surrender. I surrender. Hard mode is no joke. Let's go again. Chapter 1 hard mode. Level 1. Let's see how we go this time. What do we get? Beer is useless at this point. Gain 3 attack power. The first two act. Do 6 extra damage to enemies within 2 grids. I like it. Alrighty, nice and easy. No damage needed to be taken. Oh, golden tablet. Killing an enemy deals 18 damage to all enemies within attack range. Damn, that's pretty good. Be stupid not to take that. So we need to any last hits with the uh, goddess. I remember that. Yeah. 
can't kill him, unfortunately. One damage short. This one would be great to kill with the goddess if we can. Yeah, we can. Oh, no, we can't. Wait, yes, we can. Wait, that didn't do the alien damage. Did I misread that? Wait. Killing an enemy deals 18 damage to all enemies within attack range. Why didn't that do damage? She killed the enemy. I'm confused. That should have worked, right? Or is it within her attack range? Adding damage to all enemies within attack range. So maybe it's her attack range. Because they, they weren't in attack range. That would make more sense, I guess. Surprised he didn't come and attack our ranger. Another gold one for the uh, priestess. One time per stage, when about to take damage, take no damage, and the attacker takes 30 damage. Damn. Grants one attack range though for our uh, sun warrior. That could be good if he gets the counter ability. We can't turn up the uh, gold. See, that time it worked. That was good. Good value. Alrighty. We need to get um, her attack range a bit better. As well, if we can. Reach 10 health. You no, know, when there are no enemies within two grids, gain four attack power. Sure. Trader got. No, we don't have enough money anyway. Right, I'm just gonna play it safe here. Just wait. Wait. And wait. Let them come to us. Alrighty. She has two in her attack range. That works well. Go down here and attack this one. Uh, unfortunately, he can't block. Go here and wait though. He can't kill him, so there's no point. You can attack after moving, but attack range is reduced to 2. Cover 14 health. We should probably recover the health on the June Hunter now. By low. We'll grab the pot of gold. Mm, no, because we'd have to win 13 stages for that to even be... Start producing a profit. We'll just grab the extra power for um, Mystic Mage. 
And that can go to the Dune Hunter. Seems two extra attack. And we will heal him by 14. Play smart. I would like to kill this one. This one gives us uh, like 40 gold, I think. We can. Yeah. And we can't even move there. Put him here, he can finish him. And he can go here to block. Oh, I forgot about this one. I think I'm going to be able to get this. Not within range. Doesn't matter. I mean, gold's not that important from my experience. Might be more important in harder though, like this, like in the hard mode. Cover all health, not just yet. Gain three attack power until next turn for each grid move. Grants one attack range. That's what we need for her to go with the um, Holy Aura. And we also got a Moonstone. If there are no enemies adjacent, gain 4 attack power, otherwise gain 4 armor. Give it to her so she can get more kills off to activate the Holy Aura. Alrighty. Play safe with him. She do. She could kill this one if he can do some damage. <laughs> then a whole bunch of damage to everyone else. Nice. But oh, she has four armor as well, so it's like she's pretty good just here out in the open. And then she can do it again. Nice. Our mage is real powerful. Ah, unfortunately we can't reach with him. Some healing now before the boss battle. Door 24. One time per stage when you're about to be attacked, gain 12 armor. When at above 16 health, the attack power is increased. I think we just need to heal our Sun Mori for now. Unfortunately, a bit of a waste of a tablet, but better than having him die. Gonna wait for them to come here. Once again. Seems up roll such low health. I said it makes it more likely that we can uh, do something good with her. So I could kill this with our uh, goddess and she'll kill this one as well. It's worth. We can wait with him, he can't hit. We'll wait there as well. Playing it nice and safe. Seems that we have these two are both on half half health. Good thing our goddess is so powerful at the moment. She can carry us a little bit. And she's so good. Don't even have to move. Grant one move distance, grant two attack power, attacks ignore armor. Even better, make her even stronger. Uh, us two 
plus three attack power from all of our Sun Warrior. Alrighty, onto the boss stage for level one. Fortunately, she can only hit one person at the moment. It's a shame. Unfortunately, we couldn't come in here fully healed, but should be okay. Our goddess can do a lot of damage. I'm always willing to bring him back. Yeah. Just to protect him. Alrighty. Archers. Yeah! Problem of waiting for too long, though, is that then you can just spawn more. Gonna have to uh, move these guys up. Doesn't matter if we get any deaths here, because at least um, at this point of the game they heal. Uh, once we beat this boss, everyone heals back up. Doesn't matter of killing the boss. Be okay now. Put this thing down. I'm trapped up here in the corner. Just can just kill all of his uh, minions that he spawns. So good. And do damage to him at the same time. There we go. Level 1 complete. What do we get? Alright, so we got Fearless for the Warrior. Grant 10 max health. One time per turn when armor drops to zero. Or half of your initial armor value, that's pretty good. When there are four enemies within attack range, attack all of them. This was really powerful in my easy mode run. When attacking adjacent enemies, do it. I think our um, Priestess of Light is already strong enough. Really like Arrow Shower, but we haven't got too much on him yet. Yeah, we'll grab Arrow Shower, that was really strong last time. Killing an enemy deals 8 damage to all enemies within attack range. Oh man, our priest is a light, he's getting even better. That's a strong item for her. She's got the holy aura to deal 18 damage when she kills an enemy, and now she will do an extra 8. Well, nice. Trader. Nothing much. And we need one more. We need another more carvings as well. Um. Well, these are quite useless, so grab those. 